Hey everyone, so back with another Canva tutorial. Um, seems to be that a lot of people out there uh, like Canva and they're, or they're learning about Canva for the first time. So I wanted to put together some Canva tips and Canva tricks for this uh, tutorial. And here's one that some of you may know and some of you may not know, but it's a good one if you're trying to uh, increase your um, productivity or your efficiency when it comes to creating content on your social media. So when I'm talking social media, in this particular instance, I'm talking about um, creating TikTok posts or Facebook posts or um, Instagram posts um, with static images, not videos. Okay, so here's a little trick that will help you to pump out a lot more content quicker to create it and this involves using chat gpt right so we're getting into chat gpt ai right artificial intelligence which is a big thing now online and using canva along with that to really help increase your productivity right so what you can do is you can um, load up your canva again um, please check our link in the description um, or uh, in our bio, depending on where this video is posted. Uh, and you want to load up your Canva Pro. I mean, Canva Pro is what you're going to need for this particular um, method. So uh, Canva Pro, I believe, again, I believe it's like, I don't know, I thought it was 12, but I think it's about $18 a month, um, depending on where you live. I'm in Canada, so it's $18, I believe, a month for the pro version. But the pro version is definitely worth it. If you've seen my other videos, you know, there's a lot more templates and elements and photos and different things all inside of this, this suite, this graphic suite. And, um, it just eliminates so many headaches of having to hunt around when you've got all these different things at your um, fingertips instead of having to go off and search up all this stuff and get the rights to use them, etc. So you want to have your Canva, Canva Pro version and you also would want to load up the free version of ChatGPT. Okay, so ChatGPT. Now, as you can see, another tip in here is that if you can get the... Um, AI PRM plugin and install it, then you're going to get a lot more versatility as far as using ChatGPT. It's going to give you all sorts of different prompts that are already set up inside of here. So this is another big tip, another big trick that a lot of people don't know about. Um, they just have the the base version of ChatGPT. Now I'm not using a paid version of ChatGPT. You can do that as well, and um, I just am not doing that at this stage. Uh, I find that this uh, AI PRM uh, extension, um, that it really gives me a lot of good prompts. And there's all sorts of different prompts here you can look through. This is only the first so many out of all these different pages, right? And you can look by specific topics, etc., and it'll do certain things based on whichever one you choose, okay? But the free version of ChatGPT has been fine for me, so that's up to you. If you want to uh, go to the um, upgraded version of ChatGPT, but um, for this particular instance, we don't need that. So what I would do, first of all, is I would come into ChatGPT, and depending on what your niche is, I would say, um, you know, my niche is about, uh, I don't know, let's say it's about personal growth and development, Okay. So if that's your niche on social media, if you have a niche-based social media account on TikTok, TikTok or in Instagram or wherever, your Facebook pages, and they're all on that same theme, or let's say it was about weight loss and like fitness, or it was about uh, making money online, or it was about um, uh, positivity, right? Whatever your niche is, um, then you could come in here. For this particular case, we're going to use personal growth and development, okay? Confidence, personal growth, development, that type of stuff. 
So I would just come into here and I would say, write me, I'm just going to do a small number. Write me 15 uh, quotes or tips relating to personal growth and development. Okay? Uh, for daily success in life. Okay, let's just say that. Got one thing with AI is you want to be as detailed as possible, right? So you want to give as many details and be as specific as possible. So put something like that, then you're going to hit this button here, and it's going to spit out 15 different quotes. Like I asked it to. It's got them numbered. Okay, you could do 30, you could do 100, you could do 80, you could do as many as you wanted. Okay, so if you were to um, use these on a daily basis or maybe multiple times a day, you were going to post to your particular social media platform, right? So you've got those already set. Now, what you would do is you go into Canva and we would say, okay, we want to do an Instagram. Post. So it's going to load up a bunch of templates here. And So here's the templates that it's loaded. We don't have to use those templates if we don't want to. If we want to, we could use one of these templates and we could just make it work with what we with what we um, have or what I'm going to do instead of that is I'm going to come in to create a design because I don't want to use one of those templates that's already used I'm just going to create a design and then it's saying Instagram posts so we know the size for an Instagram post is 1080 by 1080 but I'm going to click that it should give me a blank template here and I'm just going to create a simple background for this. So I could go over to um, elements. I'll just put in background. I'm not going to get too, too particular in this. Um, let me pick this. Okay, so I picked that graphic as the background. I'm not getting too, too design. Uh, specific here. Now I want to make that set that as the background. I go, I right click on it, set as background. Okay, and let's say that's what I want all our posts to look like. Or I could even add elements. I could go up into elements. I could go to graphics. I don't know. I could add what's something that would be suitable for that. I don't know. Let's just say. Uh, Flowers. Let's see what it shows for flowers. I don't know. Let's say you wanted to put this on every every image in the corner. And you wanted to have another one up in the top image up there. So let's say we would just duplicate that. So you could right click on it and hit duplicate. Go up here. You put another one there. You could flip the image. So you just flip it. Right, however you want. So I want it, let's say I wanted it like this. I'm not worried too much about the design right now. This isn't really what I'm trying to show you. But let's say we wanted that on every post that we did. Okay. I mean, you could get very specific and, you know, to, to suit the niche that you're in. But what I want to do now is I go back to ChatGPT. I'm going to highlight these 15 different tips. So I right click, copy, back over my Instagram post. I'm going to go down to apps. And I'm going to look for bulk create. Okay. I'm going to enter data manually. It's going to pop up a box like this. 
we are going to delete this. So once we've got the, that deleted, then we're going to delete those other entries that were here and keep this up here. We're going to right click in this box and go paste. Okay, so we see that we have all those um, uh, quotes or tips that ChatGPT created. We have them in the uh, column. And we're going to go done. Okay, so once you have that over here, what you need to do is you need to um, put in a sample of the font that you want for it to uh, use when it creates the tips and quotes in your images and your posts. So you could come over to here and put in uh, a style of, well, I don't want that, it's too big. Um, hold on, let's pick this, okay. And then you can go up here and pick the font you want. So let's just as a, again, I'm not getting too particular here. Um, I'll just use this font. It's not the nicest one, but I'll use that. And we will go make it a little larger. You know what, that's a heading font. Maybe I won't use that, I'll use this. And then I'll go up here and I'll pick this particular font. Make it larger. Basically where I want it to put the quote. You can center it if you want, go over to position. Uh, it's pretty much centered. It's in the middle. Okay, you could change the color if you wanted them to be a specific color. Go up here, change the color to whatever you wanted. Um, I'm just going to keep it, I'm going to make it gray. Uh, you know what? I'll just keep it black just for the sake of this video. You can, those are all things, design elements you can mess around with. But you would do that. And you would go and bulk create, and then it pops this up. Now, I should just have to right click on this, and then it brings up connect data. So you're connecting this, you're connecting your information that you input into that cell, that column in that data sheet, to this element, right? So we want the quotes to come up using this font in this section. So let's see what happens. So connect data and then click on name because this is what it's called. You could name those anything and then it says continue and then generate 15 designs and it's going to generate 15 different designs with that font that we selected and it's going to place them in the middle and that's it. Now this is the basic way of doing these um, bulk creates. There are other ways you can do bulk creates. You can get pretty um, like you can really input a lot of information into a design right which is uh, like, for example, if you had business cards and let's say you had an agency with 30 different people and you wanted to create the business card, you wanted it to all look the same, but you wanted different people's names put on each individual card, then there's things you can do when you're in the bulk create. When you're in this, it's not going to show me the column now, but there's different things that you can do and you can create different columns for different bits of information. Plus, you can add different images. You could do that with these designs too. Instead of having all the same image in the background, you could go in there and for each, beside each um, quote, you could have a different background and a different image. So it doesn't, they don't all have to be this way and all look this way. This is just for simplicity's sake. But you could have all those 15 different quotes in there and then you could um, 
beside each quote, you could add in it a different image. So you could say, okay, for this quote, I want it to be this image. For this quote, I want a different image. For this quote, I want a different image. And you could show that all in that, um, that file that we had where we input our quotes. You could create another column and you could add a different image beside each quote and then follow everything else from there on out. And it would create the quotes, but it would assign a different image background as you specified in that file for each individual quote. Okay. Anyways, this is a great thing if you're trying to come up with content quick and you just are stumped for ideas and you need something to give you a whole bunch of ideas so that you have content for the next month or the next couple of weeks or the next six months. And then just every day, it's just, you know, you add one or two and they're already done for you. Okay. So this greatly helps your uh, time saving on uh, your social media and staying regular on posting posts, which we know the algorithms love. So I just thought I'd share that with you today. You could do me a favor. If you like this video, share it, give me a follow. Um, if there's any links in the description or in my bio, have a look. Um, that helps me out too. And hopefully you'll uh, find this useful.